Earlier today, desperate to divert us from stories about Downing Street parties and birthday cake, the government issued its new long-awaited levelling up white paper. There's no new money, the fine print shows, and opponents of the government claim that it's some pretty thin gruel. Now the Conservatives won many seats across what was known as Labour's Red Wall here in the North and the Midlands. It's vital to Boris Johnson he retains those seats if he's going to win the election, if indeed he is by then Prime Minister. Will this levelling up white paper convince people here in Burnley, given that the 12-point plan across subjects such as housing, transport, infrastructure and education, many of those points won't be delivered this poli these policy proposals admit until 2030. Now, yesterday on the money was broadcast as part of GB News North West, West Week from the relatively prosperous Cheshire town of Macclesfield. We're now in Lancashire here in Burnley, once the weaving capital of the world, a town that fell on hard times in the 70s and 80s and then reinvented itself successfully as a regional hub for aerospace and light industry. But Burnley was hit hard during lockdown. It was the most furloughed town in Britain, given that reliance on aerospace, a, se a sector itself, which suffered greatly during this pandemic. Burnley had 10% employment, but the local economy is recovering fast, and we're going to hear about that. So as ministers at Westminster wonder, as the political class is focused on Parliament, we're here in Burnley asking this on the money question today this leveling up white paper what does burnley think